The USA versus Iran. Over the past week, tensions in the Middle East have ramped up bigly after Iran shot down an unmanned American sky dildo. And now, <laughs> America said that the drone was shot down over international waters, but Iran said it was flying in their airspace. And we're learning that on Thursday night, America almost went to war. In just 24 hours ago, last night, the U.S. With it was within minutes of striking Iran, but President Trump suddenly stopping the strike before it could happen. President Trump tweeting this. We were cocked and loaded to retaliate last night on three different sites when I asked how many would die. 150 people, sir, was the answer from a general. Ten minutes before the strike, I stopped it. Not proportionate to shooting down an unmanned drone. Sweet Lord, America was 10 minutes away from bombing Iran. And who stopped it? Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah. What, what's that? Who ordered the strike? Also Donald Trump. <laughs> the point is, we are at peace, thanks to and in spite of President Trump. <laughs> and can we just take a second to acknowledge how often this happens? Trump takes us all to the brink of a crisis, and then he's the one that pulls us back at the last second. Sometimes it feels like there are two different Trumps making these decisions. <laughs> and you know what, like, maybe they are. Maybe he has an identical twin running around the White House. <laughs> you know? It's like one of those sister-sister situations. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that would explain all of the flip-flopping. In fact, it would explain everything. It'd be like, Mexicans are rapists, and some of them are good people. <laughs> release my tax returns. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm gonna play golf. I'm also gonna play golf. <laughs> so, as you saw in the president's tweet, the reason that he called off the missile strikes is because 10 minutes before the launch, he found out how many people could die in a strike. And to him, a drone wasn't worth taking human lives. And honestly, I commend him for even saying that. But now, people are shooting down his story like it's an unmanned sky dildo. <laughs> The Washington Post today reporting the president had been briefed hours earlier about potential risks and casualties and was supportive of military action until around 7 p.m. when he appeared to change his mind. This just doesn't add up that, that if when the president meets with his top Pentagon people, they give him a, a very thorough list, a menu of targets and say, you can hit this target, you can hit that target. If you do, here are the possible casualties. They, go, they run through the whole thing. Yeah, according to multiple people, the president's story doesn't make sense. Because they say a president doesn't find out about potential casualties 10 minutes before a strike. Those numbers are actually presented when the strike is proposed. In other words, they give the president a menu of options and then he picks what he would like to do. And I think that's where this all fell apart. You see, this isn't a guy who uses menus, okay? It looks too much like a book. <laughs> this is a guy who points at pictures and asks for numbers. That's who this is. <laughs> Give me that one with an extra that one. That's him. And I'll be taking a soak in the ball pit. Let me know when it's ready. <laughs> now, as much as we would like... We would like to believe that this happened because Trump didn't pay attention in a meeting, it might actually be more complicated than that, right? Because it's been reported that the president may have been given two different sets of casualty numbers. Yeah, that's what happened. Well, that's what they're saying happened. And that wouldn't be surprising, because it turns out there are two different factions in this administration. And they've both been pulling Trump in very different ways. Sources tell CNN Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and National Security Advisor John Bolton both favored striking Iran, while outside advisors reminded him of his promise to get the U.S. out of wars, not in them. Vice President Mike Pence supported the planned military strike on Iran, but also agreed with the president's decision to stop them. <laughs> Wait, what? The vice president supported launching airstrikes and not launching airstrikes? I've got to say, the last thing I expected to hear about Mike Pence is that he swings both ways. <laughs> like... Seriously, what a... What a straight-up kiss-ass. <laughs> He's like, sir, I think we should strike Iran. I don't want to do it. And you shouldn't, sir. Great decision. <laughs> so the Hawks were pushing Trump into war, and the Doves were urging restraints. And I don't know what the Doves told President Trump, but it looks like, for now, it's worked.
The president says if it comes to war, the U.S. will, quote, obliterate Iran. But what he really wants is talks aimed at a new deal to keep Iran from getting nuclear weapons. If Iran wants to become a wealthy nation again, become a prosperous nation, we'll call it, let's make Iran great again. Does that make sense? Make Iran great again. Wait, what? Make Iran great again? So in 48 hours, Trump went from threatening Iran to pitching a mega franchise in Tehran? <laughs> and I'll be honest, I don't know if MEGA has the same ring to it. <laughs> and it could be a lot of trouble if Iran ever pisses Trump off. He'd be like, all right, they changed their mind, so we're switching it to never Iran great again. <laughs> be like, sir, no, I, I don't think... I don't think we should write... Change it now! Change it to never! Look, sir, look what you've done. Oh, my, my bad. <laughs> look, if you pay attention, it's pretty clear to see what's happening here. Trump doesn't want to go to war with Iran, right? And he also doesn't mind sitting down with them to make a deal. Feels like the truth is, he just doesn't want Obama's nuclear deal. So, Iran, here's all you need to do. Take the nuclear deal you already had, replace Obama with Trump, <laughs> turn the whole thing gold for no reason, and most importantly, don't forget to use pictures. It makes it easy for him to decide. <laughs> yeah. That's a deal both Trump came up behind. 